Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for Bat4App and in today's video of our GraphQL introduction I'll show you how to create objects uh, using GraphQL in Bat4App So, here I am at my GraphQL console and first I'd like to show you how to make a very simple query so you can know that your application is up and running as you remember here on the docs, we support two types of operations at this moment, the queries, which are used when you have to retrieve values, and mutations, which is used when you have to change or add values. So this will just retrieve a value, so we'll use a query for that, and here we have the health, which returns a boolean, that will show you if your application is running. So the way we do that is we just type here query and open brackets and type health it will also auto complete and if your application is up and running you should receive a true right here on the console there you go you see my health is true so my application is up and running but today I would like to show you how to create objects in back for app and for that we will have to create to use a mutation because we are adding data so we have here also on the docs two types of mutations for objects one is uh, the create person that creates a, a specific person that, which is a class I created on the last video yeah, but we also have the create only method which is a generic method that can create basically anything we will be using this at this moment to create a new class and write some data to it and later I will show you how to use a specific method for creating a object inside a pre-existing class so if I come here I will delete this and as I'm creating data I'm going to create a mutation and open brackets and I have my objects in here and we'll call the create method so I have to pass a few parameters to it and uh, the first parameter I'm going to pass it out complete is class name which is a string so I'm going to call this car so I'll create a class named car and uh, now I have to specify the fields I want for that class so fields and this will be an object as well and now I can set my properties so let's say a car has a brand which I will type, let's say, Audi and um, it will have a license plate which will be ABC1234 so uh, this is pretty much everything that I need to do but as you remember from last video every time I use a GraphQL I have to specify the information I'm looking for uh, because uh, GraphQL only returns the information that I actually need so down here after my uh, parenthesis I will open some brackets and at this point what I have uh, available to be retrieved are two uh, different properties object ID and created at so here I have object ID and created at I'm going to retrieve both but you could retrieve only one if you need only one of those so if I click play here you see my object was created with this object ID and this created at date so if I go back to database browser you see my car is there and the brand is Audi and license plate is up there I had to use the create method because I did not have that class created before but now that I do have that class I can use a specific uh, methods for creating a car it will also be a mutation because I'm adding data but now I can delete all this and we should have the create 
car well, didn't show up here because we didn't refresh my page yet so my schema is uh, not updated so now we should have our create car and now it got much easier for us to create a new car because now that I have my schema I can just pass my fields that I need on my car and also I have autocomplete for those fields so let me just break a line here it will make it easier to see there you go for instance we know the properties are uh, brand and uh, license plate so if I just start, start typing brand you can have autocomplete for that so let's say Volkswagen and license plate is DF4567 once again I have to specify what I'm going to retrieve from uh, this object creation uh, I can choose uh, from object ID and created that I'm going to bring on the object ID in this case and let's get play there you go my new object ID it's right there if I go back to database browser and car there you go my Volkswagen with my new license plate so if you're creating a new class that uh, you don't have on the database browser yet uh, you should uh, use the, the generic method create it's uh, right here uh, so uh, you can define uh, a class name and all the fields that you want for that class but if you have a class that is already created on the database browser so it already has a schema for that uh, it makes much more easy for you to use the specific create uh, method for that class because you can rely on autocomplete and that produces a lot less code which makes everything much easier you can also have notation for updating a car or deleting a car so this was the video for today i hope you enjoyed and keep taking a look at our channel on youtube because we'll have lots more of content uh, on GraphQL very very soon. So hope to see you back soon and see you later. Bye bye